if everybody felt about it the way we do, we'd never have a problem up here. <laughs> the river would never get polluted and the woods would stay, to a certain extent, wild. We're not anti, total anti-development or anything like that. But you can't stop, you know, and say, oh, that's, I've got my piece now, nobody else can have here. There are places here where I used to run around wild and you can't do that anymore because you know, there are houses and people that don't really want you on their property. Um, so as much as possible, I think it's nice to reach that balance so that the people who really do come here to vacation and get away from it all really are. To be able to sit and look out is um, not from a car window, but <laughs> I think to my mind, it's sharing this beautiful spot, and that was important to us. A couple of times, I, well, several times, I met people on the trail, and I said, oh, this is so great. It's getting a lot of use without a whole lot of publicity. because I felt very strongly that there should be some presence on the water. We have this lot next door, and what we did is um, gave DRA a right of way down to the water. A bench at the bottom, kind of in honor of my grandparents who started it all, and my parents who kept it going.